Oh, g'day there guys. I just want to show you this video on this pot 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 that I made. Out of a aluminium soda can and some fridge condenser pipes and some tin foil. And it's powered, got no moving parts or anything, it's a little steamboat. And it's powered by the heat from that candle. And there goes, she's off. It does like to turn to the left. I think it's putting a bit more power out of one pipe than the other. I'm pretty happy with that for my first attempt there. I think it goes on quite nicely. I think I'll make a slightly smaller boiler for the next one. That one's um, a bit too big. I think I'm wasting quite a bit of my heat. Um, it didn't go this well at first. I had longer pipes on it and it went really badly. I cut the pipes down and it went a lot better. Another thing I'd like to fix is it does have a slight leak around where the pipes go at the back wall there. You can see there's a bit of water pulling up around them now. I tried silicon it up but it didn't work too good. The copper, the ferrotoroids are there just to weight it down and keep the pipes under the water line. If they suck air the boiler goes dry and the epoxy resin all burns and smells horrible. It did smell really bad the first few times I did it with it being sealed together with epoxy resin. But now it's had a few runs, it's um, starting to fade away with the smell. So there you go, it's starting to get heat into it now, it's really picking up the speed. It likes to turn and crash, it does that a lot. Let's see if it will get itself out of that corner. Looks like it's going to keep going around. And there you go. My first putt putt boat. Not the first one that works. I've had a couple of attempts at building motors before with solder. Um, they failed quite spectacularly. Although I reckon you'd get away with solder on something running at this kind of low temperature. I did try and put more heat to the other ones.